Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses. Today I want to do a quick speed comparison test between an iPhone 4 running iOS 5 and an iPhone 3GS running iOS 5. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, you know some of you may not want to shell out you know big bucks to break your contract and upgrade to uh, a new iPhone 4 or even the iPhone 4S that is being released tomorrow. Um, maybe your contract uh, doesn't allow for that upgrade or maybe you're brand new into the iPhone arena and uh, you know at and is running a great deal to get an iPhone 3GS for uh, for free with a two-year contract so let's take a look and see now obviously there'll be a few features that you won't be able to take advantage of using an iPhone 3GS um, running iOS 5 like the um, basically the new Siri voice command that's only available on the iPhone 4S but uh, this is still a really good option if you want to jump into the iPhone arena for the first time and uh, basically put no money out uh, to begin with and lock yourself into one of those two-year contracts. So let's just get right to it and uh, see what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and start both of these phones up and let's see what happens with uh, boot time on the two of them. Again the uh, 3GS is over here, this is my wife's phone and the iPhone 4 is over here on the right. So let's take a look and see about uh, what happens speed-wise when it comes to booting the new iOS 5. Uh, for those of you who may have had some experience running the original iOS 4 on an iPhone 3GS, um, you know, the original version was very clunky and very slow, and it destroyed battery life on the 3GS, and then they, they fixed that with uh, some of the updates. And now the new iOS 5 is out, so are we going to see some of those same problems, or are we going to see better performance? So here you go. Um, as you can see, the iPhone 4 is now at a boot process, and it literally maybe a second and a half. Um, after the 3GS came up and is prompting for passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and type our passwords in and on the two phones here and get to our home screen. So as you can see, um, they booted relatively uh, you know, the same speed. So let's take a look at launching a couple of similar apps. Let's go ahead and uh, launch the, the camera on both of these phones and see what happens. Let's see if I can hit them at the same time. So as you can see, the iPhone 4 is just literally a fraction of a second faster at actually launching the app and uh, getting it up and running and available for use. Um, let me go ahead and uh, jump back to our home screen. So a button on this 3GS is kind of worn out. This is my phone and then it was uh, handed down to my wife. So let's take a look. Let's open up the weather app and uh, see what happens with the weather app. Where is my weather app? Um, let's see here. Here we go. Okay, so let's uh, open up the weather app on both these phones and see which one uh, performs a little faster. Actually, same exact boot time. I, I think I may have hit the 3GS button a little bit quicker than I did on the uh, 4, but they both opened at roughly the exact same time. So as you can see, so far there's not a whole heck of a lot of speed difference between the iPhone 4 and the 3GS. Let's go ahead and launch uh, the control panel and kind of take a look at that. That one normally takes a little bit of time. So there we go, just a fraction of a second slower with the, uh, with the 3GS over the, uh, the iPhone 4. So it's actually, um, this was kind of a shock to me. I was actually expecting the iPhone 4 to be you know, significantly faster, being that it's got a much faster processor and more physical RAM on the machine. But the 3GS is definitely holding its own and keeping up to par when it comes to speed and performance. Let's, um, let's open up iTunes. Now this may not be a truly accurate test just based on the fact that um, both of these phones, uh, you know, we don't, we may not both have the same amount of music and the same amount of videos, but let's go ahead and try that. So there you go, you can see the iPhone 4 loaded to the loading screen a little bit quicker. And again, you know, very slight speed performance. Um, difference between the two phones. So that's just a quick uh, overview to kind of see. Let's open up the App Store real quick and see what happens. Um, just a quick overview that, to see that the 3GS is actually running iPhone um, iOS 5.0 pretty quickly and it's actually doing a pretty good job. This has taken a little bit longer because it looks like there were some updates that it went out to to hit. But um, again, it is very comparable in speed and performance when it comes to utilizing, you know, basic uh, basic use of the phone. Now granted, you know, we don't have a whole bunch of apps loaded which could slow the phones down a little bit, but uh, they're still, you know, it's running pretty decent. Let's let's take a look and see if we were to pull down the, the drop down. And again, they were both, you know, pretty much the same performance. So that's just a quick look at, um, you know, the speed performance differences between the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. Now granted, um, the iPhone 4S will be out uh, tomorrow and hopefully FedEx will get here before 
the warning time of before 3 p.m. that I was uh, given on my shipment notice. I'm going to do a couple of other videos. I'm going to compare the iPhone 4, which will become my wife's phone, and the new iPhone 4S, and uh, see what the speed differences are there when it comes to the iOS. And then we'll do a couple of other videos. We'll do some comparison shots between the new 8 megapixel camera and the 5 megapixel camera that's on the uh, the iPhone 4. So stay tuned for a few more videos. Um, again, real quick, that's just a, uh, a demonstration quickly of the speed performance differences between the two phones and you know to me it's it's actually it it looks like a decent solution you know if you can you can go out and get a new iphone 3gs um, for free with a uh, a two-year contract um, or you can get a hold of them i think they're like i don't exactly know what they're going for uh not contracted i don't remember i think it's like 200 bucks for for an 8 gig model and that's what this is this is an 8 gig model this is a 16 gig iphone 4 so stay tuned for more videos coming soon um, I appreciate uh, your time today and watching the episode. Like always, please follow me on Twitter. And it's twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And you can follow me on Facebook as well and join the group there at uh, face, uh, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses. And as always, try and subscribe and or like these videos. Leave comments. I always get back to my viewers. So if you have any kind of questions about any of these videos, uh, this video or any of my uh, previous videos, please leave comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And all the support for the show uh, you can give is great. That helps us out. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Bye-bye.